I get asked this question so much that I thought it makes sense for me to show you how do you recover your Google account. Now, you're going to see in this process that I have a lot of options that I can use for recovering my Google account. If you have not set up the options that you have the ability to set up, you're not going to get the same options that I have. Let me show you what I mean. So your Google account. Your Google account starts at either google.com or starts at gmail.com. I can go to gmail.com and show you the same thing. In Gmail, it says I can create an account or I can sign into my account. This is creating or signing into a Google account that gives me Gmail. I'm going to click on sign in right here. It wants to know my email address or my phone number, whichever I want to use. So I'm going to put my email address, Burris Consulting at gmail.com, which by the way is my testing account that I use for all of my Google Workspace and Gmail videos on YouTube. So there's my email address. I'm going to click right here. Now if it says forgot email, and they'll see what happens, forgot email, which sounds pretty ridiculous. Enter your phone number or your recovery email address. So let me try that. And by the way, I'm going to use a phone number, 336-283-6121. I'm going to say next. And what's your name? My name is, oops, I don't know the name I used on Burris Consulting at Gmail. Give me a minute to find out what that name is. The name on this account is BCI Google Testing. And the last name, interestingly enough, is account. I knew that. So let's do that. Hit next. Get a verification code to help keep your Google account. Wants to make sure it's really you trying to sign in. Get a verification code. Google will send a verification code to that phone number. That is an option. I'm going to hit send. And... It sent a verification code to that cell phone number, which happens to also be another Google Voice number. Let me go get that one second. There it is right there. Let me go back to keep doing this. And I can enter the code right there. And then I can hit next. And look, select an account to sign into. There it is right there, burrisconsulting at gmail.com. Now, I only walked through the steps if I couldn't remember the email address, but I did remember the recovery phone number because I had a recovery phone number. Click on that. Now, it wants to know the password. I don't know the password. Forgot password. So it says, to help keep your account, Google wants to make sure it's really you. Uh, do you have a phone? Google will send a notification to your phone to verify it's you. Let's say try another way. I, let's say I don't have a phone. I don't have a recovery phone number. Try another way. All right, account recovery. Choose how you want to sign in. I can use one of my eight-digit backup codes, which I have saved. I can get a verification code at that phone number. I can get a verification at another phone number because I, interestingly enough, I have two different phone numbers associated with this account, or I can try another way. Couldn't sign you in. You didn't provide enough information for Google to be sure it's you. If possible, when signing in, answer as many questions as you can. Use the device where you signed in before. If your account is managed by a family link, you will send an email to your parent. I can say try again. There's my email address. I can hit next. It's going to take me through the exact same steps that I have done before. Try another way. This is just in a loop. It's going to send a verification code to the recovery phone number or the second phone number I have. It'll use one of the backup codes that I have. It'll send a recovery code to the recovery email address. These are the only things that you can do in order to recover your Google slash Gmail account. And if you do not have a recovery phone number, a recovery email address, if you do not have the backup codes, you are not getting into this Google account. 
It's back in a loop. It's just going over and over again. I don't know the password. Try another way. And again, it's going to send it to recovery email, recovery phone, or you have to use one of the recovery codes that you have. There are no other options in order to do this. I'm Teddy. I'm a Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I wish that everyone would turn on two-factor authentication, recovery email address, and recovery phone number, and make a copy of the backup codes, and never lose your recovery phone number, and never lose your recovery email address, because it's those are the features that you have available to you on Google to keep your Google account.